Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. And I have a bit of, I don't know if I should call it good news, but it's an amendment to the rules in um, the immigrants' favour. And I don't know if you'll remember, but I did a video. Um, it was called, oh, It's Too Late to Turn Back. Um, whereas this student was trying to get a flat or some kind of accommodation, she went to the estate agent and the estate agent had to get in touch with the home office and um, she was found she was found that she wasn't they weren't able to rent to her now the reason why the estate agent has to um, report to the home office is because they can be fined thousands and thousands of pounds and even face imprisonment so they are obligated to contact the home office Anyway, what was happening is that, you know, the estate agent, as soon as they saw somebody with a foreign name or somebody called them up with an accent, that was a trigger. They would either not show them any properties or they would investigate them with the Home Office to make sure that they were um, legit in the country. Anyway, the Joint Council for the Welfare of Immigrants have just sent this out. It's called We've Won. And I'm going to have to read it because it is really important. A key plank of Theresa May's hostile environment immigration policy has been declared unlawful in a damning ruling handed down by Mr Justice Spencer at the High Court today. The right to rent scheme requires private landlords to check the immigration status of tenants and potential tenants and can result in them facing unlimited fines or even a prison sentence for renting to undocumented migrants. The JCWI has long warned that these measures increase discrimination for people of colour, people with accents and people with foreign names who will be asked to prove their immigration status even though they've lived here all their lives. The court declared the scheme unlawful, ruling that it causes unacceptable racial discrimination. Mr Justice Spencer found that requiring landlords to check immigration status caused racial discrimination against anyone without a British passport and against ethnic minorities. The government had failed to show that the checks had any actual effect on encouraging undocumented migrants to leave the country. The judge also said, it is my view that the scheme introduced by the government does not merely provide the occasion or opportunity for private landlords to discriminate, but causes them to do so where otherwise they would not. The government's hostile environment policies designed to drive undocumented migrants out of the UK were widely recognised to be the root cause of the discrimination and miscarriages of justice suffered by the Windrush generation. Like them, British ethnic minorities and foreign nationals seeking homes have now been found to be at risk of racism as a result, as a direct result of the government policy. The right to rent scheme must be scrapped immediately. What's more, we know that this simply is the tip of the iceberg. Layers of discrimination exist in all aspects of the hostile environment and this judgment shows exactly why it must be dismantled. So I'm quite pleased about that because it just shows there's somebody else on side. And yeah, we all know that with an accent, you know, it triggers a light bulb. Everybody believes that somebody with an accent has just has just come over and, you know, they're illegal. I know people who've been here for years, 50 years, and they still have an accent. You know what I mean? People can either choose to acquire an, a, a language without an accent or they can choose to maintain their accent, their original accent. It doesn't mean that they're illegal. But as a result, and because the estate agents are under so much pressure, they feel obliged to go and check it out. I wouldn't be surprised rather than going through all of that. They don't even bother. They just say, look, you know, the place is gone. Now, that individual is going to believe that that estate agent is being racist or being, you know, prejudiced against them when really they're just trying to prevent themselves from going into, into prison. 
Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you and I thought it was a bit of good news and it does kind of break down the layers and we are getting to the root of this hostile environment policy. Yes, it's making it hostile um, for illegal immigrants, but it's also it should also be um, fair and just. And yes, they're calling it a compliance policy because anything that sounds a bit um, that's not pretty or I say it's unpretty and tells the truth. They don't like it. So they pretty it up and make it look like it's something good, when it's not. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye bye.